Welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to fold the baby dinosaur designed by Michael G. LaFosse. It's really cute and I believe it's a great addition to your Jurassic Park collection. So let's begin. We're going to start with the color side of the paper down. Mainly the color you want your dinosaur to be. And we are going to fold the two main diagonals. You want these two diagonals to, or to be as accurate as possible. As usual, they are the guide to our model. Now we'll fold these two corners to the center. Unfold. Unfold. We'll fold this edge to this new crease that we've created. And the same thing to the top. You know that the key to origami is to be as accurate as you can be? Once you have that, we're going to use our fingers, put it at the intersection of the main diagonal and this new crease and we're going to use it as a pivot to pull our paper roll this edge as much as you can to the left corner of the paper once you have that reinforce it by pressing onto it we are going to repeat the same thing on the right side Hold on to this new flap, pull, and roll this side to the right corner. Once you have a straight line, reinforce it by pressing onto it. Now, we can do the same thing on top. So use your fingers, press on the intersection, grab this flap, and roll this edge until you have a straight line to the left corner. Reinforce. Same thing on the right side. Roll the paper until you reach the right corner. Now the hardest part of our baby dinosaur is complete. Please help me share it with the world by giving me a like. And once again, I'm taking suggestions. If there's a model that you want to learn but you don't know how to understand the diagram, send it to me and I'll try to fold it, given that I could actually fold it. If it's too hard for me, I'll probably just skip by. Now, we're going to fold this together to make sure we're even on both sides. If you are not, adjust it a bit to make it even. The more close to each other they are, the easier it is for the baby dinosaur to stand in the end. Once they're perfect, fold this edge to the center crease here. Unfold. Fold this edge to center crease. Now, we're going to pull the crease for the main diagonal and form a new flap here. You should have something that looks more or less like this. We're going to repeat this on the other side. Once you have that done, we're going to fold it in half. Once 
once you have this, rotate it 180 degrees. If you compare this to our folded models, you'll notice that this is the leg of our baby dinosaur. That would make this the tail and this the head. Right now, we're going to fold the tail by folding it like this and inside reverse fold. Same thing for the head. For the head, you want it to be more or less parallel to the bottom of the foot of the baby dinosaur. Inside reverse fold. And you should have shapes similar to this. Now, we're going to fold this edge to the top of the tail. Open up. Fold this edge from this intersect to the tip of the back here. Like this. Same thing on the other side. Once you have that, we're going to fold away the hump on the back of the dinosaur. Just fold this hump from this corner here to this corner. Repeat on the other side. Make sure that it matches. For the head. Rotate it 90 degrees, and we're going to fold this flap down. You want to fold it where the corners here are stretched as much as possible. And then fold up again. This is to have this staircase here for the forearms of our baby dinosaur. Now we're going to fold the head like this. Reverse fold. This is to open up the paper a bit so we have a white, little white spot for the head of our dinosaur or the face of our dinosaur. Repeat the same thing on the other side and you want it to match this time. the arms or the f forearms of our dinosaur we're just gonna use open it up and use our index push it in so that it folds to match this edge here we do that on both sides we're almost there now we're going to put the finishing touch on the tail of our baby dinosaur. Fold it outwards. Use a reverse fold to enforce those two folds. Now use your fingers to curl the tail. Now for the standing test. Open up the legs a little bit and hopefully it stands. It does. If it doesn't, try adjusting it so that these two edges are parallel to each other. If you haven't yet, remember to click that like button so you can share this with the world. Thank you for watching and see you next time.